How do you feel? Oh man, like I don't know, and like in awe. I don't. Know. It all happened so fast. I, what can I? I don't know. It was crazy. Oh yeah, it was a wonderful experience. These guys are so great. I was, you know, it's, it was so fun to do it with them. We just had an awesome time. So I got my guy Steven, helped me do, help me do golf, and then I had Cheyenne also escort me, so that was really awesome. Well, you've seen the trees planted around Burley High School, and perhaps you've maybe even planted them once, maybe twice. Hey, if you planted it wrong or crooked, maybe you did it three times, but we're not judging. Let's take a look about how this came about. Yeah, so um, National Honor Society is kind of running this whole thing. Uh, we are planting trees around the school and different gr groups and different clubs will have a plaque because they like sponsor a tree and so they'll have the name of their group or club next to a tree and they'll just uh, with the plant trees around the school. All right, Miss Beck, how was the day for the NHS tree planting? It was an amazing day. Do you know the history of it? I do not. Let me tell you. So Leos is uh, the high school's organization of the Lions Club. It started in 1983. Uh, so Mrs. Tadioka, the former Leos advisor, set out to earn a bunch of money to figure out a way to beautify early high school on the outside because let's be honest it's pretty drab out there those those three trees <laughs> bless their hearts anyway um through her group and over the last four or five years they managed to acquire over six thousand dollars oh so sitting with, sitting with mr jones and mr ray and myself i said we have a mission. Let's get some trees, and we happen to have a great person who helped. We donate the trees, but gave us a beautiful cost cut on yeah. them. We planted 27 trees. We had many local companies come and help us, and we figured we had about 50 to 60 students that came out. And everybody showed up. I, did you get a chance to show up that day? No. Alexa, come on. No, I'm okay. Scared. Well, everyone but Alexa was there, and. <laughs> We dug and planted, and it was a beautiful day, and everybody worked hard, and I just can't wait to see in the spring when they start to bloom out and, and have their leaves, and everything's gonna, gonna be awesome. Uh, then we invited Mrs. Tadioka to come see what we had done for her, and we have a really nice plaque that we had for her dedicating her dedication to the education of her high school, the Leo's definitely, Club. Definitely a great cause. It was an awesome, awesome club, cause, and I appreciate everybody who came out and helped. Now we gotta figure out what our next adventure is. Definitely, let's hope it's a big project. I got one in the works. Perfect, hey, right. thank you. Thank you. Okay, Addison, tell me about Door Shack. How was it? Door Shack was a lot of fun. We went and painted Hopscotch and Four Squares with the kids as a service project for the Leo's Club. It was about a four hour project and it took a long time. Well, that's fun. That's good. All right, Cree, so we heard for National Honor Society that you guys went and painted all the black tops over at Door Shack. Will you tell us about that? Yeah, it was a really great opportunity. Some of my fellow high school students and I went over there and we painted some four square games, some hopscotches, and just some of the fun activities for the elementary kids to play on during recess to give them some more fun things to do. That's awesome. All right, Mark, what do you think before today? Taste some hill. Why? He's like a crazy BYU player of all time. <laughs> I'm thankful for Carter because he took me lunch today. I'm thankful for Braxton for taking me lunch. Ollie Bowie, Sam Smith. Alright, so what are five things you're thankful for? Um, I say life, food, um, water, um, family and friends. Alright, so what are five things you're thankful for? Cheer, something, plants, my cats and my dogs. Football, wrestling, weights, and uh, my sheep and my cows. Uh, apple juice, uh, fall, uh, grapes, apples, and. Uh,
thankful for sneakers. I'm thankful. That's a beautiful day today. I'm thankful for football. And, uh, I'm thankful for everybody. Uh, everybody's helping. My thing I'm here for is my skateboard, um, shoes, uh, clothes, education. I'm grateful for my education. There's one. Privilege. Food. Food. Ms. D's class, because that's how I met Natalie. She's a great oh. friend. <laughs> um, one more. Uh, um, I'm grateful for. Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Alice, what is one thing you're thankful for? I am thankful that somebody put stuff in my candy drawer. This one you want to say thank you to your mom. I want to say thank you to Mr. Jones for pushing me to my best in acting class. What are five things you're grateful for? Uh, I'm thankful for the food, pizza, water, uh, and the brand thing. Thankful for Jackson. Awesome. Free lunch. Alright, Aubrey. So today, who are you thankful for? Last week, her favorite tablet she ever made. Alright, David, what are you thankful for? Who's somebody you can thank today? Uh, my teachers. Okay. My parents, because they provide me food. Uh, I should say thankful to um, my consumer's math teacher, Mrs. Street. Me, myself, and I. Heck yeah, I got myself out of bed this morning. Thank you. Uh, my boss, Justin K, gave me a raise today. What are five things you're thankful for? Uh, I'm thankful for food. I'm thankful for water. I'm thankful for music. So what is one thing you were grateful for? Boys. My mommy for always being there for me. What are five things you were grateful for? I'm grateful for the four elements. Earth, water, fire, air, and mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm thankful for my cat, money, my car, sense of humor, and dino nuggets. Hey, look, I said today, who's someone who can say thank you to? Well, I can say thank you to you because you stole my money. Okay, what are five things you're thankful for? I'm grateful for hunting, fishing, music, sports, pickup trucks, food, freedom, more food. Not this tape because it's annoying. Um, school. And me. <laughs>
Chloe Kendall, Olivia Kendall, Eliza Yearsley, and Kessa Turpin's alternate. State qualifying boys were Eric Baker, Aaron Bradshaw, Will Cox, Isaac DeTemple, Ty Gibbons, Luke Monroe, Alex Rushton, and Ryan Garrett as alternate. Congratulations go out to Aaron Bradshaw for his seventh place finish and to Olivia Kendall for her ninth place finish. <laughs> So we're here with Olivia Kendall and we're going to talk to her about cross country while she's in the hot seat. All right, Olivia, what got you started into running? Um, well, in junior high, I wanted to spend more time with my dad, so I did track. And then, I don't know, it just kind of became my thing, and so I started cross country last year. That's awesome. Nice. nice. Great. Where is your favorite place to run, like, if you could pick anywhere? Um, probably at the river. Nice. Why the river? Yeah, why the river? I don't know, it's just pretty. That was pretty. That was pretty. Nice. Alright, Olivia, who was your first crush? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you have to know. You have to know. <laughs> um, that's confidential. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. Never know. I guess pressure. Never know. Secrets <laughs> are. Secrets don't keep friends, Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. All right, so tell us about state then. Um, well, like, what do you want to know about it? <laughs> um, how'd you guys do? What, it, like, where was it? Um, it was in Eagle, and um, I think both of the teams, the guys and girls, did pretty good. Mm -hmm. I did pretty good for myself. I ran my fastest time there. Really? That's awesome. That's super good. And what did you place at state? I took night. Oh, that's nice. really good. Good job. Guys, that's out of like a hundred. Yeah, that's out of a lot, guys. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're in the hot seat with Aaron. So Aaron, can you tell us how State went? State went way better than expected, actually. That's I just good. went there, um, and I really wanted to place, uh, which is top 20 in the state. And I went out there, and not gonna lie, I felt pretty good. So I that's got 7th in the state. That's, that's awesome. awesome. That's awesome. That's amazing. What made you just start love running? Like, um, uh, just running around recess in Arizona and I just realized that, hey, I'm kind of fast. So when I came in middle school, I just joined cross country. Little did I know, I actually was pretty good at that. So since sixth grade, I've been running and it's been pretty good. Who do you like look up to when you run? Like yeah. who's someone that's like a role, a role model um, for you? <laughs> my freshman year, it was Jacob de Temple, the old the old champion of this school, and there have been some role models of mine um, that I've always looked up to, like this guy in Arizona named Leo Dashba, who broke four minutes on the mile in high school, and they've always just motivated me to be who I want to become in running, and and hopefully I can get there. Nice. Awesome. All right, awesome. I think we're good. Thank yeah, you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Hey, are, are you following us on Instagram? Gotta go. Bro, are you following me? No. Well, you should be. <laughs> Follow bobcat.blogsquad on Instagram. We have so many stories, but so little time to share them all. As we publish our blogs, time becomes an issue. I mean, we have to let you get back to learning somehow. So, follow us on Instagram where you can see the rest of the story, take part in our polls, vote on favorites, and be part of the fun. Find us at bobcat.blogsquad. Seriously, follow us.